Hello everyone. This is C O A D B dot com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to talk briefly about six different coats of arms in the King family. The first is blazoned, gules, two lions rampant, supporting a dexter hand cooped at the wrist, erect argent. Supporters, two lions per fess argent and gules ducally crowned of the last. This was the coat of arms of John King, first Baron Kingston, who was an Anglo-Irish soldier during the wars of the three kingdoms who later served in the Irish House of Lords. He was the eldest son of Sir Robert King, born 1599, and his wife, Frances Foliot. John married Catherine, daughter of Sir William Fenton, and had two sons with her, Robert and John. Having worked hard for the restoration of King Charles II, he was created Baron Kingston in the county of Dublin on September 4, 1660. Next we have the same coat of arms with a, a crest this time, and this was the coat of arms of Edward King, 1st Earl of Kingston, who was an Anglo-Irish politician born in 1726, the son of Sir Henry King, 3rd Baronet, and his wife, Isabella Wingfield. He succeeded to the family baronetcy upon the death of his brother in 1755 and was elevated to the peerage of Ireland as Baron Kingston in 1764. He was made Viscount two years later and Earl one year after that. He was a member of the Privy Council of Ireland and was a Freemason who served two terms as Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of Ireland. He married Jane Caulfield and had seven children with her. Third, we have Sable, three spears heads erect argent embrued gules on a chief oar, as many pole axes azure their edges to the sinister. Crest, a dexter arm erect, cooped at the elbow, Vested azure, thereon three ermine spots in fess or cupped argent hand proper, grasping a truncheon sable, the top broken off, the bottom cooped of the third. Supporters, two English mastiffs regardant proper, each gorged with a plain collar gules. This was the coat of arms of Peter King. First Baron King, an English lawyer and judge who became Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain. He married Anne Says and had four sons and two daughters with her. Next we have Sable, a lion rampant ermine between three crosses, Patty Fitchy or Crest. A lion's gam erased and erect sable, grasping a cross pate as in the arms. The king, later Duckworth King, baronetcy of Bellevue in the county of Kent, was a title in the baronetage of Great Britain. It was created on July 18, 1792, for the naval officer and colonial governor Richard King. He was succeeded by his son, the second baronet, also named Richard, and he was also a naval commander. He fought at the Battle of Trafalgar. The fourth baronet assumed the additional name of Duckworth in 1888, and the title became extinct on the death of the seventh baronet in 1792. Next we have Azure on a chevron argent between three east oils or as many escalops sable crest a dexter hand cooped at the wrist erect proper 
holding a cross crosslet fichy gules. This was the coat of arms granted in 1690 to William King, Bishop of Derry, who went on to become Archbishop of, Lund of Dublin from 1703 to 1729. He was the son of James King and his wife, who were recent settlers from Aberdeen. And the last coat of arms to discuss is blazoned, Azure on a fess argent, three round buckles gules, in chief, a lion's head erased, and in base, a mullet of the second. This was the coat of arms of James King, first Lord Ethan, or Ethan, who was born in 1589, a Scottish soldier who served in the Swedish army and who later supported King Charles I in the Bishop's War and in the English Civil War. He married twice and had one daughter who died before him. His nephews, James and David King, were his heirs. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says genealogy research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.